CSCS practice test. Manual handing 15 questions and answers. Question 1. What should you do if you need to carry a load down a steep slope? A. Roll the item, S down the slope. B. Place the item, S on your shoulders and take it down. C. Stop and assess if it's safe to carry the item, S down the slope. D. Place the item, S on your shoulder and run down the slope to finish quickly. Correct answer is, C. Stop and assess if it's safe to carry the item, S down the slope. Question 2. What should you do if you discover a better way of lifting a load than the method currently in place? A. Ignore the current method and carry on with your own method. B. Ask your colleagues if they think it's a good idea and if they agree do it your way. C. Discuss your idea with your supervisor. D. Carry on using the method in place and forget about our idea. Correct answer is, C. Discuss your idea with your supervisor. Question 3. Is using a wheelbarrow to carry a load considered as manual handling? A. No, all the weight of the load is carried by the wheelbarrow. B. Yes, but only if you need to place items in and out of the wheelbarrow. C. No, unless the wheelbarrow gets a flat tire. D. Yes, you are still handling the load manually. Correct answer is, D. Yes, you are still handling the load manually. Question 4. If you need to move a load while sitting you should always remember that, A. You can move more weight than normal if you're sitting. B. You can move less weight than normal if you're sitting. C. It doesn't matter as you can move the same amount if you're sitting. D. You can move twice the amount if you're sitting. Correct answer is, B. You can move less weight than normal if you're sitting. Question 5. Before attempting to lift a heavy load you should always try to, A. Make sure your feet are placed as close as possible. B. Use lifting equipment or divide the load into smaller and manageable loads. C. Carry the load at arm's length, away from your body. D. Drag the load along the ground. Correct answer is, B. Use lifting equipment or divide the load into smaller and manageable loads. Question 6. What should you do if you need to lift a load which blocks your front view? A. Ask a colleague to help carry the load and ensure you both can see ahead. B. Ask a colleague to walk beside you and give instructions. C. Ask a colleague to walk in front of you and warn others that you're approaching. D. Carry on lifting the load because it's so large that everyone will see you approaching. Correct answer is, A. Ask a colleague to help carry the load and ensure you both can see ahead. Question 7. What should you do if a load is too heavy for you to move on your own? There's no colleagues around to help you and the load cannot be divided into smaller parts. A. Place the load on your shoulders and carry it quickly to avoid injury. B. Use a forklift truck even though you are not trained to use one. C. Do not attempt to move the load unless you find a safe way of moving it. D. Drag the load on the ground. Correct answer is, C. Do not attempt to move the load unless you find a safe way of moving it. Question 8. What should you do if a previous back injury is affecting the job you're currently doing? A. Explain the situation to your supervisor before starting the job. B. Carry on with the job and if you feel pain then tell your supervisor. C. Ignore the problem and wait for it to go away. D. Use a back brace and carry on with the job. Correct answer is, A. Explain the situation to your supervisor before starting the job. Question 9. The maximum weight you can carry should be decided by, A. Your site manager. B. Your health and safety rep. C. You. D. Your supervisor. Correct answer is, C. You. Question 10. Which of these should you stop and think about before attempting to lift a load? A. The weight of the load. B. The size and shape of the load. C. The best way of gripping the load. D. All of the above. Correct answer is, 
D. All of the above. Question 11. Which part of your body are you most like to injure if you lift heavy loads? A. Your back. B. Your neck. C. Your knees. D. Your legs. Correct answer is, A. Your back. Question 12. What should you do if you need to move items which are too heavy to carry in a single load? A. Ask your colleagues to help you. B. Divide the items and move them in smaller loads. C. Try to find a lifting aid such as a wheelbarrow or trolley. D. All of the above. Correct answer is, D. All of the above. Question 13. How should you pick up a load which is heavier on one side? A. Ensure the heavier side is towards you. B. Ensure the heavier side is away from you. C. It doesn't matter which side is where. D. Do not attempt to lift a load which has its weight distributed unevenly. Correct answer is, A. Ensure the heavier side is towards you. Question 14. What should you do if the trolley you're using gets damaged and one of its wheels fall off? A. Stop using the trolley and carry the load the remaining distance. B. Get a colleague to help you drag the trolley the remaining distance. C. Drag the trolley yourself. D. Find another way to move the load. Correct answer is, D. Find another way to move the load. Question 15. How should you position yourself if you need to lift a load from the ground? A. Feet close as possible, legs straight and back bent. B. Feet as wide as possible, legs straight and back bent. C. Feet slightly apart, legs bent and back bent. D. Feet slightly apart, one leg slightly forward and knees bent. Correct answer is, D. Feet slightly apart. One leg slightly forward and knees bent.